When all this was going on, neighbors protested and forced the closure of the bodega where Guzman was stabbed, claiming that the owner had failed to protect the boy from the machete-wielding gang. The owner denied the allegations in a tearful television interview, but he eventually sold the bodega, which later reopened under a new owner. However, Guzman's family was not alone in their grief. The entire Bronx city was plunged into a deep state of mourning. One of the many people who were greatly affected by the brutal killing was the bodega owner's mother, who died from a heart attack after watching the security footage of the incident. The bodega owner himself became severely depressed and needed psychological counseling. Additionally, police officers involved in the investigation paid tribute to Guzman Felice on social media. One of these officers is New York Police Commissioner James O'Neill, who issued the statement below on Twitter using the hashtag Justice for Junior. 